Hey guys, it's Tilly and thank you for watching my video. I'm doing a super casual video today because it is currently 42 degrees where I live and I'm sweating, I don't want to put on makeup, the aircon isn't working very well and I just am slightly dying. Anyway, today's video is going to be my first book haul for 2022. Most of the books in this pile are the colour blue. So I'm going to start off with the books that aren't blue. The first one that I have is The Power by Naomi Alderman. This is also the first book that I have read this year and I thought it was amazing. So this one is set in a world where women, um, well young girls around the age of 14 suddenly start to develop these powers of having like this lightning skill um, and it develops over time over the course I think of nine years and how these powers have begun to affect the world especially in different countries and it follows multiple points of views. Some people have it quite powerful, some people have it quite weak but the main denominator here is that most of the people who get this power are female um, and it was quite an interesting read to see um, what perspective people had during this world. The next book that I've got is called A Marvelous Light. This one is by Freya Marks and I got this one in the novellas box which was really cool. Um, it came with four books in it um, and it's an Australian based book box um, subscription um, which I'm really excited about. It is the previous owners of the YA Chronicles and this one just features four amazing books which I'm really excited to get around to reading. I hadn't actually heard about this book before I got it in the novellas book box um, so I don't know too much about it. Um, it's a hidden world, a magical conspiracy, and a thrilling romance. It sounds like it's going to be right up my alley and I'm pretty excited to read it. It is a fiction book um, with a touch of magic inside of it. The last non-blue book that I've got is The Keeper of the Night. This one is by Kylie Lee Baker. It looks like it's going to be cool just based off the cover. It looks pretty badass. I am too dangerous to let live any longer. It is written in the book of Onku, decreed by the High Reaper himself. Death will come to find me, but I'll no longer be there. It sounds like it's going to be pretty damn good. Now onto the pile of blue books that I've got. Um, the first one is one that I have seen absolutely everywhere. I feel like I'm a bit behind on current reads at the moment because I haven't actually been reading that much. I'm also a little out of touch with all my book social media and stuff, which I'm slowly getting back into, which is exciting. Um, but one of the books that I have seen absolutely everywhere is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I don't actually know anything about this book, but I did pick it up purely based on people's reactions alone. So hopefully it'll be good. Like I said, I'm pretty into romance at the moment just because they seem to be pretty easy and fun reads for me. And so I think I'll enjoy this. So this book follows a character called Olive. She does not believe in romantic relationships. Um, however, she does panic after a discussion with one of her friends and she kisses the first man she sees, who's Adam Carlson, who's a hot shop professor and a well-known ass. Because of this, they agree to do fake dating, which is a great trope to have in romance books, and I'm guessing that they're going to fall in love and there will be a few complications along the way. Next up is The Nobleman's Guide to Scandal and Shipwrecks by Mackenzie Lee. I believe that this is the third book um, that she has in this sort of series um, and I'm really excited. I really like the way that these books are written. They're really fun and upbeat and it's a very easy read normally. Um, I think I might have to study up again on what the previous books were about and just update myself a little. I do remember really enjoying them as I said they are really fun reads. Um, it is a historical fiction based book and it follows the Montague siblings. Um, so it follows Adrian who is dealing with his mental illness of anxiety. Um, he decides to unravel his mother's history to find a bit more about um, her past and things that could link them. Um, and I guess along the way he finds out a few truths and things he might not want to learn. My current read at the moment is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I haven't actually read um, Stephanie Garber's other books but I have heard a lot of great things about them. This was in the fantasy section so I decided to pick it up. Um, I am currently about just under halfway through this book. I'd probably say it definitely reads more like a YA fantasy. Um, that might change throughout the book but it is really good. Um, it follows a girl called Vangeline who um, her beloved is getting married to her stepsister. Um, she believes he's being cursed and so she goes and asks the fates to help her to stop the wedding. Um, it kind of takes a different turn than I expected. Like I must admit that I don't really know how where this book's going to go. Um, but she ends up asking Jax, um, who is the fate of hearts, um, mostly broken hearts, and he's a bit of a trickster and a twister and he ends up tricking her to start off with, um, but then her life changes and it kind of intertwines with Jax as the story continues. I am pretty intrigued, um, it is pretty easy reading so far, and I, I wonder where it's going to go. 
Next up is Disobedience by Naomi Alderman. As I said, this was her debut book. Um, I haven't heard anything about this one, but I picked it up because I really enjoyed the power. Ronit has left London and transformed her life. In New York, she's become a wise-cracking, self-sufficient financial analysis. She's the one who decides for herself where to live, what to do, who to sleep with, but now she has to go home. Wearing Ronit's father, a respectable rabbi, dies, she's called back to the world of her childhood. She thought she'd left the orthodox Jewish suburb of Hendon, North London, far behind. But when she meets up with her childhood girlfriend, Esty, she's set on a collision course with a tight-knit community she rejected long ago. My second last book is Skin of the Sea. This one is by Natasha Bowen. I, once again, haven't heard much about this. This came in the novellas box, so I know it's going to be great because Alison always picks really, really good reads. Oof, this book is about mermaids who collect the souls of those who die at the sea and bless their journeys home. But when a boy is thrown overboard a ship of an enslaved people, Simi saves his life, going against the ancient decree and bringing terrible danger to Mami Wata. Now Sydney must journey to the Supreme Creator to make amends, a journey of vengeful gods and treacherous lands. If she fails, she risks not just the fate of Mummy Wata and the boy she loves, but also the world as she knows it. I haven't read a mermaid book in a very long time, so I'm pretty keen to see what this one's going to be like. And the last book that I've got is a book that I have previously read, but it is the collector's edition and it is absolutely stunning. That is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller in this absolutely beautiful gold foiled book. Um, I adore this colour. It's one of my all-time favourite colours anyway. Um, it has these inside pages which are also gold. It comes with the ribbon to mark your spot in the book and it is just absolutely stunning. Um, the quote on the back says, we were like gods at the dawning of the world and our joy was so bright and we could see nothing else but the other. And it also came with a bookmark. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if you guys have not heard of this book before, it follows the story of Achilles and Patroclus, which I always sure I pronounce wrong. Um, it is a love story and it will give you every single emotion in this book. It is an absolute roller coaster. Phenomenal. I remember reading it and just being absolutely blown away and because of that I automatically read anything by this author. I highly recommend it. Fantastic. So that's all the books that I have got in January. Um, if you guys have any book recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments down below. I really want to get back up to date and read some fantastic stories this year. I'm most active on my Instagram, so feel free to reach out on there as well with any book recommendations or any questions about these books too. Thank you guys for watching and have a lovely bookish day. Thank you guys for watching. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? I don't know if I succeeded in that. Anyway, to